you talk us through that last play? We didn't. We didn't score. What was? Can you sort of explain sort of what was supposed to happen then versus what happened? We just didn't score. When you look at your game today, how would you? How do you think you've played? I'm not sure. I know we left a lot of yards out on the field, so it's just frustrating um, to have a game come that close, come down to the wire. And you know, earlier in the game, you should have had you know some better throws, some, some better executed plays for you know, to at least give us some, some field goals or you know flip the field a little better for our defense. What was happening earlier in the game seemed to have trouble getting some offensive rhythm going. What was the challenge there? Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I mean, you know, you got to give credit to those guys. You know, they're they're really good defense. Uh, you know, they're. Big and fast, athletic, and you know, it just took us a little while to get in our groove. Too long. Does, do things change moving into next week? How do you regroup after something like this? You just gotta learn from it, man. You know, you can't let a loss beat you twice. You just gotta learn from this and get better. And you know, we're about to go on the road to a good BC team, so you know, we gotta we got 24 hours to learn from this, drop this, and get better. You done a team had done a good job of protecting the ball and limiting the turnovers. I mean, yeah. was that the difference tonight? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we preached it all week. Jim's been preaching it since he's got here. It's, uh, you know, take care of the football. Um, you know, I think we came in a half down, two possessions, something like that. And, you know, they had, we had two turnovers, so, or something like that. And, you know, it just, it, it, it holds true. You know, we got to take care of the ball. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thanks, Jeremiah.